Hello, today I will be doing a video tutorial on the IO Gear USB print server. This print server is used to configure the Zebra GX420D label printer for network use. This print server utility will only be used for replacing a GX420D printer or installing a new GX420D printer. Before getting started, we want to make sure that both devices are powered on and connected properly. Each device comes with its own power cord. Please make sure that these are connected and that both devices are powered on. Once this has been done, you will want to take your USB cable and run it from the back of the Zebra printer into the print server utility. The USB cable required for this should be packaged up with your Zebra printer. You will want to connect the large end of the USB cable into the back of the Zebra printer as shown. After this has been connected, you will want to run the opposite end of the USB cable into the bottom of the print server as shown. After the USB cable has been ran from the printer to the print server, you will want to take an Ethernet cable and run it from the back of the print server to the closest Ethernet port available in your plant. After this has been done, the next step will be configuring the Zebra printer for network connectivity at your plant. The next step for configuring the printer on the network is to open your web browser and enter the web address that is provided at the top of the page. If entered properly, you will be taken to the Wi-Fi config tool for the Zebra printer. There are several empty boxes here that must be filled out in order for the printer to connect to the network. Each of these will be provided upon receipt of the printer. If these are not provided, please contact support via email at support.pcf.com. Please fill in each blank box accordingly with the information provided. After this has been done, please click on the Send Config button on the page to send the configuration file to your Zebra printer. If the values provided were entered correctly, you will see the words Signal Strength on the Zebra printer screen with the percentage indicating radio signal strength. If this does not happen for you, please go through the procedure again and make sure all values were entered properly. If you are still experiencing issues after following the steps of this tutorial, please contact support via email for additional details and support.